Hello y'all. I am getting ready to hike this hill. It's called Robledo Peak. I've never done it before. I'm not even sure there's a trail. I'm pretty sure there's not a trail. The first thing I need to do is cross the river and so I will have to take off my shoes and I will have to walk to the side, dry my feet and put my shoes back on. Beautiful. This is what I want to be doing. Wow. So nice. Wow. What a great adventure. I have crossed the river. My shoes are on. My feet are clean. I am looking for a way up to Robledo Peak. And I got the drone as well. I just strapped it to my shoulder here with a bungee cord. I didn't bring much. I have a, you know, 16 ounces, 20 ounces maybe of water. I'm trying to go up there. I have officially passed the foothills. I'm up here, I'm ready to tackle Robledo Peak. And one of the good signs is these ridges, well, they're like lines in the hill. You can see there's more up there, and then there's a lot right before we get to the top. So I'm crossing into that different region above the foothills. I would call this kind of like the highland. I'm walking next to these rock formations like so. See? goes out that way. It's almost like the Great Wall of China or some ancient wall. I'll admit to you that I often fantasize about a lot of natural occurring rocks or some sort of ancient formation that's eroded or destroyed. And why not? Who knows how old the earth is? or how old civilization is, or the extent of civilization. So, maybe I'm walking along an ancient wall of some sort. There it is. Wish me luck, here we go. Approaching the summit. It was definitely harder than I thought at the end here. It's a long way to hike, or maybe it's a long way because I was excited. And I thought I was almost there when really I had a kind of a long way to go. But that is the top right there. Yeah. Okay, they even have the journal I can sign. I'd love to sign some of these. I did not know this was such a cool mountain.